All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you for joining us today here for our Workflow Logic webinar. Um, my name is Garrett. Uh, I am the UX designer here at Colivate. And I'm Matt. I'm the uh, Compliance Specialist. And today we're going to go through a few things that we believe are the most important uh, when you're talking about workflow um, in the workplace, how it can benefit you, and how it can increase productivity and thus kind of elevate your business to a new level. That's right. Um, we'll also be taking a deep dive into how workflows help to define processes in your business and uh, streamline your business processes just by identifying them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, while we're talking, if you have any questions, feel free to enter it in our chat window. And uh, we're going to be having a little Q&A session uh, after the webinar, so we'll address all your questions then. Yep. So uh, the first thing that we want to address is what is workflow? Um, and at its very base, workflow is kind of the sequence that you do things in. So from the project inception to its completion, who has to sign off on finished products, who has to do QA, who has to have input on all of these different pieces and gathering all of those working parts and putting them into one sequence. Um, and that's really the basis of workflow. Uh, so at Colivate, we use our defined structures in our quality policy, which is from our ISO certification that Matt made for us. Um, and this kind of defines the way all of our development processes go, our design processes, um, even vacations, time off requests, things like that, they're all handled by workflows. Um, and this helps to set expectations, it helps to uh, keep track of the different moving parts and moving pieces, and it helps us maintain accountability um, for all of the different people that work here. And that's going to get us into the next part here, where what are the benefits of workflow? That's right. So uh, basically, we have four ways that we can use workflows uh, to improve the way a business runs uh, and the way your employees collaborate. Uh, the first one is the involvement of employees. So basically, uh, workflow keeps the channels for collaboration open and it keeps the channels for communication clear. Um, with regard to involvement of employees, your published processes keep complex systems more user-friendly and uh, more usable. So basically, uh, your employees become more involved because of the workflows. It's, it's not the other way around. Um, so the, the easiest way to do it is to map out your processes just by asking already, what do my employees have to do? Like, What's their normal part of the day? Um, putting that down on paper is actually the first step to uh, getting your employees more involved. So uh, one of the things you can do is have your employees write down, you know, step by step from point A to, to point Z, uh, what are the little steps that you have to knock out in order to complete the task? And that takes us on to our next point here, which is workflows help define the systemic structure of your company and your business. Um, so like Matt talked about, process mapping, truly helps to clarify and materialize everything that you do in your day-to-day -day processes. Um, I know that when Matt came in, I had been working here for about six months and we had a pretty disorganized design process at Colivate. Um, there would be requests made either by customers for certain things to be changed or our development team would make requests and they would just be assigned to me. There was no necessarily channel uh, which all of these things funneled through for me to you know know everything that was going on know everything that was expected of me um, so when Matt came in he helped clarify those by creating process maps and creating structure around all of the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis so now the first thing that happens is a feature request document is created and that comes to me first we collaborate on that. I collaborate on that with a developer or one of the development managers to ensure that all of the points that a customer or the development team expects to be hit are hit. Um, and once that document is completed, that goes to another high, higher level, level of management to be approved and to make sure that everything is on task with the expectations. Um, another nice thing about workflows and 
keeping in with your structure is that they help you keep compliant with not only your policies and regulations, but policies and regulations that may come externally for your industry. So I know Matt was working previously with a manufacturing company, and that's where he gained his experience with ISO. Um, and I think that he can speak to a little bit of how important workflows were there. Sure. So um, whether your company is large or small, uh, most people would agree that communication is the, the number one thing uh, with regard to internal policies and, and even external regulations. The thing that we did um, was we just, like I said, laid it out all on paper. And then from that point, we were actually able to make our processes more efficient. Um, when I was going through uh, here at Colivate, I was trying to figure out, okay, well, how do we get a quality management system together for this company? Um, you know, that we had, when I came on board, we had a quality system. It just wasn't on paper. So uh, what I did was I went around and I <laughs> bothered every single person in the company to no end for about, what, two months or something like that. Yeah. And I asked uh, over and over again, so, you know, what's your job on this process? What's your job here? What are things that you're doing that you think are technically not part of your job? Um, I really tried to figure out the inner workings of the company. Uh, and then what I was able to do was put them on paper. And it turned out we were actually already ISO compliant. We just didn't have the quality management system on paper uh, that they required to, to back it up. So once we had that system on paper, uh, within three months of me starting here, we were able to uh, pass the ISO audit and become certified. Yeah, and I, I do think that since that all of these processes have been implemented, um, many things, especially since Coolivate is an international team, many things have kind of um, been a little bit easier moving since you started. Uh, one thing that is still difficult, though, and I know that this is a point of contention for many companies, is keeping a solid open channel for communication. Um, and that's, that's the next point that we're going to hit here, is workflows are able to improve communication because they specify who you're supposed to go to when you have problems, who you're supposed to talk to when you need answers. Um, and I think that that is one of the more important things that workflows help you with. Uh, oftentimes when either you're a new employee or um, you have changes to an organization, you don't necessarily know who has, who's the subject matter expert on what you're working with. Um, who's the project, sure you might have a project manager, but project managers work on multiple projects if you have a large volume company then there's probably going to be a lot of crossover with those project managers. So you need to ensure that you have established channels for communication for all of your employees so they know where they can get the information that they need and they can do it within a reasonable time frame. Um, and I, that brings us to the next point, which is collaboration is key and workflows help cement those connections together. So Coolivate was built off of the idea that everything that you do is made better with a collaborative approach to creation. Mm -hmm. um, and as, as a UX designer, I certainly agree with this. Um, working directly with a user or working directly with a developer to make a tool for them is always going to be better than me sitting in a room by myself and creating something from scratch that probably won't be too usable. Um, we've all been in a scenario where you get a request from your boss um, you get an email, a document, something like that, and you work on that email or you work on that document, you work on whatever you're assigned and you send that back to your boss and you get one sentence saying it needs to be better. Yeah. Right. And this, this lack of collaboration at these levels is clarified when you have more levels of feedback and more clarity between communication in your organization. Um, I think that workflows help everyone either on different levels or on the same level make those connections and feel more comfortable communicating with one another. Um, and I think that one benefit to having such clear communication channels is going to be our next point here, which is maintaining accountability. Um, so workflows make, workflows being 
documented and being published and everyone in your organization following them gives you the ability to have everyone knowing what they're responsible for. And a huge benefit of this is when everyone knows what they're, res they're responsible for, they also know what other people are responsible for. And that makes, you know, there's no he said, she said, inter office politics, right? right. There's no, there's no problems between, well, it helps minimize problems between people at the same level because everyone is aware of what projects another person's working on. And um, you're always able to have that clear and concise connection between either your peers or your management level staff. Right. It's a control. So, you know, with any kind of process, uh, be it purchasing or operations or sales, uh, you have five key components and that's an input. That's what you need to do the job. Uh, you have a control, which is, you know, either a metric or a checkpoint or someone doing a review to make sure that, you know, all of the inputs are there. Um, you have your key activities, which is, you know, your actual work that you do. If you're a mathematician, you're probably doing math. If you're a UX designer, you're designing something. Uh, if you're a compliance guy, you're reading through a million boring documents. Um, then another thing is your improvement actions. So, you know, what about my key activities can I improve? And then finally, uh, all those put together result in your output. And if everyone knows along each of those stages what they're responsible for, uh, everybody can finish the overall process much faster and in a much uh, more organized environment. Mm -hmm. And so our, our next point kind of deals with why you would want to use a workflow tool to create these things. Um, and I think, I think the biggest thing is you're able to track and record approvals. Um, you're able to document when someone review, re reviews something. Um, and that gives you a clear paper trail, ensuring that everyone who should sign off on a document, everyone who should have input on a creative process or a product or any type of project has not only given their input, but it's documented, people have seen that, and their voice has been heard. Um, I know that one of the bigger problems that I had when I started here was um, being the only person in our East Coast office was honestly incredibly frustrating because the development team is half a world away on a very different Literally. schedule. Yeah, on a very different schedule than me, and. Um, they have significantly different expectations of what I was going to be doing. Um, so for the first few months, it was pretty hectic. You know, um, there was very little accountability for me doing what I was supposed to be doing. There was very little accountability for approvals. Um, but once we started to use a, uh, a, work, a workflow tool more effectively, and once we had our quality management systems and our quality policies in place, it got significantly easier. Um, so I think that what we're going to do now, uh, so we don't bore you with more slides, is go ahead and show you a quick demo of Cultivate. Um, that is the product that we make here, and it is a dedicated workflow tool. Um, so I just have a document that I've chosen to show you guys that shows a bit of what Cultivate can do in terms of keeping a paper trail for you. Um, and how it can help manage approvals and all of your different types of documents. So give me just a second to share this screen. All right. So this is Colivate. Like I said, it was made um, kind of as a collaborative place for people to create and share documents, um, have a conversation about how to create things uh, beyond just commenting in Google Docs. So what I'm going to show you today is just kind of how to make things clear out of the mess of documents that is our lives, right? So let's take a look here. I'm going to sort by my project tag. And we're going to take a look 
at a document that I have been working on for some time now. So this document here is for a new user experience and a new feature that we've been working on. Um, if you take a look over in this activity bar, you can see that it's already been approved by um, Justin who submitted it and we're still waiting on approval. It's not a fully approved document. If you check under processes, you can see that both my approval and our development leader are both pending. Um, but what you can also see is all of the different revisions and all of the history to this document. You can download each of these versions individually um, and you can make comparisons and draw comparisons between these older file types uh, between, you know, the first version and the very newest version. So every time the file is updated in a significant way, we capture that version and we capture which user made that change. Um, which, uh, as you know, is uh, part of the document retention point. Right. In ISO 9001. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it helps us not only be compliant with our own expectations, but it helps us be compliant with our clients' expectations. Um, especially when it comes to manufacturing industries, this is an incredibly necessary part. Um, if you have a solid quality management system or a solid QA policy, this is also a great thing to use in, in terms of software because it allows you to see the change over time for not only your um, new feature development, but it can be used for, um, if you use text-based code bases, uh, if you use Honestly, we use it for vacation approvals and yeah, expense approvals as well. Um, but you can see all of the activity and you can see all of the different, all of the different revisions and all of the different actions that have been taken on this. Um, another nice thing is you're able to not only see who has approved and reviewed the file, but you can see when they did it, how they did it, and who else still needs to see that file and sign off. Um, and this really helps improve the transparency between departments and also between people themselves. Um, another way that Coolivate helps with that is in our groups, you're able to kind of create a personal space for a specific team. So we are located here in Pittsburgh and these are just all of our um, Pittsburgh documents here. So this is just for our managers, and for myself and Matt to post and talk about things with, within this group of people. Um, you can process documents directly to the groups. You can mention the groups to make sure that you've gotten all of your oversight from the people that are inside of that group. Um, and that can be super useful for making sure that your entire domain doesn't have access or doesn't see a post in the base screen because some things are a little bit more confidential than others. Um, so we do use Colivate at length to ensure that our workflow is being adhered to. Um, and I think that we're just about wrapped up here with the demo. So we're going to go ahead and take some questions now. If anyone wants to pop those into the chat. Hi. Hi. We uh, will be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. If there aren't any questions, um, I think that's about all we had today. So we will uh, give a few more minutes here just in case someone wants to type or is typing. And then I think we're just about done. Sure. Um, and then we'll also put up our uh, emails and stuff at the end. So that way, uh, if you guys have any personal questions, uh, even if it's not about like call of it, if you have ISO questions um, or even design questions, uh, reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Yep, absolutely. All right, looks, looks kind of like no one has any questions immediately. I, I think you're fun. right. So uh, bid you a good day and uh, have a good weekend. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, we'll let you know we do plan on doing a little webinar series here uh, from this point forward. So we will 
be emailing you again, probably, with our next workflow topic, or our next uh, webinar topic. Have mm -hmm. we decided on that yet, Matt? Uh, we have a couple different ideas. Uh, if there's something you'd like to hear about in, in the uh, tech realm, or would like a uh, like to suggest a webinar topic, uh, we'd be more than happy to entertain any ideas you have either. Yep. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a great day.